welcome, I'm Sai. Today we're going to be empowering ourselves as customers. A little disclaimer, my jaw is slightly dislocated and it's changing the way I pronounce certain words. So thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. In the last few years, I've learned some really interesting things about online marketing and that's changed the way that I perceive ads when I'm browsing or when I'm on social media. Since this channel is about sharing knowledge and lifelong learning, I thought it would be a perfect video to make today. A sales funnel is a concept or term used to describe the journey a company's prospect or target audience takes between being a stranger and being a paying customer. The sales funnel we're going to talk about today has four steps, and here they are. Step one, offer something free and valuable. This could be a checklist, a PDF, an email sequence, a challenge, a masterclass, a workshop. These are the things that pull us in and these are the things that we see often in ads on social media. This benefits the company because they get our email address in exchange for whatever free thing they're offering. There will be some links in the description, but I've read that email can have returns of $38 to $42 on every $1 spent on email marketing. So even though it may be considered an old marketing strategy, it's still really effective and that's why our emails are so valuable to companies and it's worth their time to offer us the free masterclass PDF and so on. Step two, email sequence. So usually as a customer, we get a confirmation email immediately after entering it in in exchange for our free offering. Now we might be added to a newsletter or just a multi-day sequence leading up to a launch. At any opportunity in this funnel, the company can send us to a sales page instead of a thank you page. And that leads us to step three, sales page. Once we as customers get brought to a sales page, there will be no other way to navigate away from that sales page without closing the page completely. This is different than a traditional website that will have other menu options where we can move around freely. All right, that leads us to the final step, step four, which is the launch or the offering. There's always gonna be some sort of time pressure when it comes to this. So if it's a launch, it could be a course that's only offered a certain amount of times per year. So if you don't sign up in this season, you have to wait months till the next one. Alternatively, the offering could be a package or a bundle where you get two courses for the price of one, or you get a really big discount if you sign up for the course within 12 hours or some amount of hours after finishing the masterclass or the workshop. There are even websites dedicated to having those countdown clocks in the bottom of emails or at the top or bottom of web pages to add that pressure to purchase right away. I don't want this video to come across as me saying all online courses are scams. It's the opposite, actually. I think if we're empowered as customers and we can recognize when we're being funneled into this system and we still want to take the course, then we know that it's really the right course for us. There are different links in the description box below to companies that I think that are excellent that use this model. There are also links to blog posts that talk a little bit more about email marketing. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.